Hey y'all, Wacky Warmer here with the next episode of my Greg Tech New Horizons playthrough. Uh, last episode, we worked on smelting some iron ore that we found in the Greg Tech mines. Uh, let's pull some more of this creosote oil. And I don't know why that's in there. We'll add that to the list of things to be smelted. And uh, we've got working on a full stack of iron ore, which is really awesome. Or iron ingots, I should say. Uh, just kind of organizing my inventory here a little bit and then we'll check out the quest book so we could actually go ahead and claim this I think we need to pull some uh, oh, we didn't actually get quite enough cobble for this okay so we definitely need to pick up some more cobble just to advance through the quest book and save us a little bit of iron on the head that we're gonna get as a reward here but not really a whole lot and then we need a little bit more than a stack of iron here, so we'll head back down into the mines. We can get the cobblestone and uh, the iron ore there. And then we're going to work on these tools. And uh, we'll talk about those a lot more when we do that. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I uh, just went in and picked up another 12 or so. Uh, or I guess it was about 20 ore. Uh, and then I also picked up the rest of the cobble that we needed so we can turn this quest in. And then uh, in terms of claiming our rewards here, um, you know, honestly, let's go with the loot bag. Let's see what we get from that. And then our iron quest here, we're lacking about, what, seven more ingots, which shouldn't take too long to acquire so we'll go ahead and fill up this bucket of creosote and get this cooking uh, and then while that's happening we can put our tool station back down um, and i know i said that you know i didn't really want to go for this iron pickaxe head yet uh, because i didn't want to use the iron repair material but now that we've actually mined up like a whole stack of it uh, I am less picky about that. So that shouldn't work. We should have to repair this first. So we will. And then we put the iron head on it. And then so here's a key thing to notice. Um, our mining level of the flint pickaxe here is level one copper. And the mining level of our new iron pickaxe here is uh, actually two iron, uh, which is nice. But it's uh, it's mining XP. I don't think the mining XP itself gets reset, uh, but it the the plus one level resets. So we'll have to use this pickaxe more uh, to advance it far enough where it gains an extra mining level and goes to three dash whatever it is, right? Um, so we'll make sure to do that as we're mining. We're definitely going to need a lot of tin and copper. Uh, very very soon the steam age is just absolutely full of it so uh, we'll be doing that before too long uh, cool so that meets our iron quest um, uh, we're okay on food let's take the loot bag for this one too uh, and then I'll put these coins up and then let's see what we get for these loot bags and then this the stone age loot bags right so there's probably nothing like jaw dropping in here but let's see what we get uh, what did we get I uh, don't actually know uh, maybe a bunch more torches that might have been what we got is it in our chat history no okay uh, so maybe some more torches that's my guess at what we got not a hundred percent sure let's um I don't know that I can fit any of these materials in there yeah okay uh, all right, so let's see what we get with this loot bag. Okay, so we got some food, some lettuce wraps, and then we got one piece of bone meal. Um, I'm not sure what using bone meal on grass here does. Uh, I'm assuming just like normal flowers. I'm pretty sure it's just normal flowers, um, which will actually be useful once we start doing some botany stuff. But for right now, I'm not so sure that that was incredibly useful. Uh, cool. I'm going to have inventory problems very soon here, but uh, we'll deal with that later. So, anyways, on to making our tools, right? Uh, so we have our 
tool quest here. These tools are used very frequently for crafting uh, tasks, but they're also used in the world itself too. Um, each one of them have kind of a different use case in the world, and that's pretty neat. I think I talked about that in my first episode. So, uh, so let's get started. So the first tool we're going to make, uh, the tool that doesn't require any other tools to make, is the hammer. And it has kind of a similar recipe to the soft mallet that we made earlier, uh, just with iron ingots, right, or any sort of metal. So we're going to make our hammer. Uh, and then I'm going to have to pull up the recipe for these other ones. Uh, so let's look at the wrench here. So it's our hammer and then kind of a Y shape of ingots, right? Hammer and then Y shape of ingots is the wrench. And of course we use up a little bit of that durability on our hammer. Our file is next. And so we have two plates and a stick. Uh, plates are made. We're probably going to need a lot of plates, but for right now we're just going to make these kind of as we go. And that's the recipe for that. Screwdriver. Uh, so for this one, we have a file, we have the hammer, we have a stick, and then two rods. So I believe the rod recipe, yep, is that. And what was it? It was two rods, hammer, stick, Maybe hammer was there and then file. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we're down to our last tool here, which is the saw. Uh, this is the one that always trips me up on the recipe. I, I never, I don't know. For some reason, it just, it trips me up. Uh, so we have, these are plates. We have our file and we have our hammer. So we need two more plates. I think it was there and then the screwdriver and the file look very similar they're always very hard to tell apart okay and then there's our iron saw blade and I always get confused here because it's the NEI recipe for it's kind of complicated but this is actually just stick and the saw blade there's a I think it's like architecture craft saw or something that pops up a lot in the recipes uh, and it is not this saw it's very simple so so there we go uh, we have all of our tools created for this quest, uh, and that opens up access for us to a lot of neat things. In fact, one of the first things uh, it gets us access to is the crafting station, which is just the saw and the crafting table. Uh, I'm sure you know the differences between a crafting table and a crafting station, but this is uh, well worth converting over. So that's awesome. And then while I'm here, I'm just going to move this back. Uh, just put it in the ground right here. Uh, awesome. So we have a crafting station. Anything other, any other low-hanging fruit here we could tackle? Uh, we have crop sticks. These are probably not something we want to get into yet. File, saw, and then the log. Um, but that kind of opens the door to us for doing the Greg Tech version of AgriCraft, which is interesting. Uh... Let's see, that's, we don't have a smelting station yet, or a smeltery yet. Uh, drawers, drawers could definitely be useful for us. Um, I, you know, I'm not, I don't have a ton of the types of things we would put in drawers yet, uh, but probably before too long, that's going to become incredibly useful. And then this quest right here, I'm not prepared whatsoever uh, to tackle this quite yet. Uh, but the sleeping bag is really absolutely essential for mining and exploring. Um, you need a fair amount of wool for it. Uh, and this tanned leather recipe, this one like looks simple, but it's a lot of string and woven cotton, which itself is a lot of string and regular cotton, right? And that's why I've got, one of the main reasons I've got all of this cotton growing here. Um... And I've collected over a stack of it at this point, but I still think I'm pretty shy on being able to craft uh, the sleeping bag. Not to mention, I don't have leather yet, uh, so I'll need to go and find some of that. 
Um, I really do need to start a sheep farm and a cow farm, um, but I haven't really seen any near the base. Where, where's a sheep? Obviously, I would need a couple, um, but I would also need, I don't have the wheat that I need to lure them in yet. Um, there's cotton seeds. That was cool. Uh, yeah, so this is how you get seeds. You can see the witchery seeds are popping up pretty frequently, as well as the cotton seeds. But there should be a somewhat small chance, uh, and my axe is dead now, but there should be a small chance of getting regular seeds as part of that, and then uh, that'll enable us to pull those sheep and cows in and breed them. Uh, so yeah. Where's my flint at? There we go. Uh, cool. Anything else we could tackle here? Um, shields. The lunch bag. I, I probably need to invest some time into building some actual like good meals and then stuffing those into the lunch box. That would be useful. Um, but I'm just not quite there yet. Uh, cool. So, um... Next episode, we will work on getting the uh, copper and the tin that we need in order to create uh, the bronze that we need for the Steam Age. And that's going to be our first chance at having any sort of automated processing. It's going to open the door really quickly to ore doubling um, and maybe slightly more efficient plate creation, which is nice. Um, anything at this point that helps us kind of conserve resources is going to be really, really valuable. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.